All right, people. What it do? What's happening? Ladies and gents, I told y'all I was going to be back with some more videos. Didn't I tell you? But anyways, this topic right here, let me tell y'all something. We are about to drop the bomb on these suckers. Because when I tell you, I'm about to speak some 100% truth on this topic right here. Y'all going to be amazed, astonished. Y'all going to be stunned. Hell, you going to even relate to what I'm talking about. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure when you're coming into this video, make sure that, make sure you like the video, leave a comment. Once again, smash the like button and leave a comment. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I promise you, you will not regret this. Share the video and do me this one favor. I'm not asking much, but do one favor for me. Stay tuned at the very end, ladies and gents. You will not regret it. I promise you that. You will not regret this. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. Nut chit chat. Let's get it. Your cutoff game is so unpredictable. They did not see it coming. DJ dropped the bomb on him. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you why. Your cutoff game was so unpredictable. They really thought you were going to put up with their shenanigans. Alright? They thought you were just going to Put up with their BS. They thought you just gonna put up with their nonsense. But you had cut them out of the blue. You came out of nowhere and just cut these people off. And let me ask you this question. Not you, but let me ask y'all this question. Have you ever had to cut somebody off? Then they want you to explain to them why you stopped talking to them. Why you had to cut them off? Uh, last time I checked, y'all not in diapers. Y'all don't speak the Google da da. Y'all grown adults. And if you had to cut somebody off, they caused you to do it. It's like they handed you the scissors on purpose and told you to cut them off. Basically, but people these days want an explanation. Don't you explain yourself to nobody. If you had to cut somebody off, then you did it for good. Because number one, you're not finna sit up here and be scratched out over somebody. Number two, your mental health come first. Number three, if that person don't want to change their ways, cut them off. But the reason why I said your call out game was so unpredictable, they didn't see this coming. That's imagine you was in a relationship with somebody and you kept putting up with their BS. And one day you just got tired of it. And you told them one day, if they don't get it together, you were going to leave them. They sitting out there laughing like it's a joke. But one day, you showed them that you wasn't playing. You showed them that you think I'm all talk, huh? All right? And once you really showed them, now they woke up and realized you wasn't playing. You planted, you had planted this out for Lord, for Lord knows how long. That's why y'all so unpredictable. This is why people can't figure you out because they're trying to figure out why he stopped talking to me. Why she stopped talking to me. They're stressing themselves out. Instead of looking in the man. Or the woman in the mirror. They are the problem. They are not you. But they should have saw this coming. But they didn't see it coming. Oh he's so nice. He gonna let me do it again. Oh she's so nice. We been friends since 5th grade. We use it. Talk it out. Hash it out. And just be friends again. That they, they, they don't mind. Hey, he don't mind. Hey, he's, he's such a sweetheart. Come to find out, y'all had enough. Once you put your foot down, fellas, you put your big foot down, ladies, you put your foot down. 
And that was all she wrote right there. And that is sitting over there looking crazy. Because you have worn up time and time again. You didn't fuss. You didn't argue. You didn't bigger. You didn't cuss them out. You didn't cuss at them. You just talked to them calmly like a mature adult. And you told them, if they don't get it together, you got to cut them off. You told them face to face in the flesh. Man to man, woman to woman, or woman to man, man to woman, however, however. But some folks thought you were just playing. They thought you were just yapping off at the mouth. But you were saying in your head, I can show you better than I can tell you. And they're sitting up there laughing like it's a game, like it's funny. They thought you were really playing with them. But now, guess who's laughing now? You laughing. You getting the last laugh. Because y'all try to give people chances. But when you give people chances, they think, oh, he just so nice. She just so nice. I can use them up when I feel like it. I can get away with murder and they still let me into their life. Uh, 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 uh. It don't work like that, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them it do not work like that. Because one day, you got tired of putting up with their shenanigans. You got tired of putting up with their funky behavior. And y'all had talked to these individuals about it time and time again. But you can't make a grown man or a grown woman change. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. If they don't want to change, and they don't want to do the things that you are doing, hey, tell them, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Then they get mad when they start to see you leveling up, becoming successful. Because you had tried to tell them to get their act together. You gave them so many prep talks, it still didn't work. It was like you were talking to a wall. It was like you were talking to a doorknob. Hey, you can talk to a dog or a cat. They're going to understand where you're coming from. They might not speak the human language, but the roof and the meow, oh, they're going to understand where you're coming from. But when you talk to a human on two legs that refuse to grow, they're going to look at you like you crazy. And this is when your call-out game will get unpredictable because you will cut anybody off. You don't care who it is. If they don't want to change or they come at you sideways, you're going to cut them off. You ain't got time to sit up here to try to fight, bigger, cuss, none of that. You're just going to cut them off. You're too old to be, well, I'm not going to call you old, old, but y'all too grown to be a seen up. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, but you too grown to be arguing with a bunch of humans you too smart for this y'all too imma not immature but you too wise y'all too wise for that immature adults want to prove a point when you call them out they want to fight they want to become petty they want to start petty petty um arguments excuse me they want to sit up here and get under your skin because that's what narcissists do. When you call them out and you had told them time and time again, they want to try to put the blame on you. But when you don't bite the bait and you do it just calmly, you say, you know what? I'm going to cut you off. As a matter of fact, you ain't even got to tell them. You just cut them off. You end up blocking this person. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You end up blocking them. They out of your life for good. Why well, I say for good, for good. And it's sad it had to be like this, ladies and gentlemen. But at the same time, if people don't want to grow, if people don't want to step out of that program that they in, it be on your level, hey, they're lost. It's like the old saying goes, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't make the horse drink the water. Holler. 
Y'all could lead them to the water, but can you make them drink it? You could teach them how to fish, but let me tell you something. Do they really want to fish? You could teach a person all they want to, but are they ready to learn? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Holler if you hear me. Some people just don't want to do the work. And you say, you know what? You want to be lazy? You want to be mediocre? You want to remain the same all your life? Cut off. And then when they see God's, um, excuse me, when they um see God start living you up, God start changing your life from this to that, oh, they're going to be stunned. They're going to be in shock. Ladies and gentlemen, they did not see this coming. But God was waiting for you to cut that individual off because they were like holding you back, trying to hold you down. But can nobody hold God's chosen one down? Not y'all. Not y'all anyway. The devil, he tried. But look what happened to him. He got fooled. Your so-called friends from the past. They thought you were going to put up with that BS. Trying to party all the time. Okay, want to be Eddie Murphy? You want to party all the time? You go party over there. While we over here elevating and leveling up. Then when you start becoming successful. Well, all the many years you're putting in that work. The blessings start showing. The hard work start paying off. Oh, now they want to come back into your life. Now, they want to be your friend again. Now, all of a sudden, they want to listen. People always want to listen when it's too late. And you told them from day one, yo, you need to do such and such. If you're a guy watching this, you try to help your homies or help your buddy to get on the right path, but he didn't want to listen. Man, I don't want to hear that, man. Or if you're a woman and you try to get your homegirl on the right path, girl, I want to hear that. They ain't want to hear it. And you're like, all right. Since you want to act like that, you can't go. This is why God put you on this path alone. Friends can't go. Nobody can go. They're not going to understand. But remember when I said in my video the other day, you were not put here on this earth to be understood. Everybody going to misunderstand you. Not everybody. But people that ain't got that brain, people that don't think twice before they act, they're not going to understand it. I guess it run in the family. Some people just choose to be like their parents. They want to be the same. They want to be mediocre. But yo, y'all, y'all was put here. In that family become something to break the generational curse. But your friends, you had to cut them off. Even the ones that are closest to you. Family. Let me talk to the ones that had to cut their family members off. Your own family members, they see you cutting them off. You loved it from a distance, but you had to cut them off because you were seeing things that they wasn't. Because remember, God put it in your vision. He ain't put it in that vision. He put it in your vision. This is why when you were growing up, you would say, my mom want the same. Dad, I want to do this. Papa want to do that. And they look at you like you crazy. Boy, ain't nobody in this family ain't going to become rich. You're going to sit down and you're going to get a job just like the rest of us. But you even prove your own family members wrong. Your own friends, too. Ain't nobody in this hometown that became successful. They laughed and laughed and laughed. Called you crazy and weird. Who he think he is? Who she think she is? Talking about she got a vision. She got a dream. She talking about she had a vision that she was singing on stage. Talking about she had a vision. This ain't that so raven. Don't visions ain't real. Hmm. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. God will put a vision in you. And he don't care how silly it looks to others. 
If you put in that work and make it become believable, you're going to stun the rest of these folks that doubt at you. Y'all are so unpredictable. It going to make people get in their feelings. It's going to make people want to come back and apologize for calling you crazy. But you're not looking for no apology. You're not looking for no validation. You ain't looking for no sympathy. All you're looking for is success. But peep this though. Success is going to come find you. Success is going to come knocking on your door. But it takes time, ladies and gentlemen. After you cut these folks off, it takes time to become successful. Remember, success doesn't come overnight. It takes years, but that's all right. When you cut people off that wasn't meant to be in your life, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel like you can breathe again. These people were suffocating you. It's like they were strangling you. But once you cut them off, you felt good. It felt like you can breathe. But that's all right. When you cut people off, you ain't going to be alone forever. God is going to send the right people into your life. And them people are going to become strangers. They call strangers. But even strangers can become friends. But before you start making these true supporters, make sure you cut the people off. That were never meant to be in your life. But when you cut them off and start talking to them. They're going to be start acting crazy. They're going to start playing that victim mode. They're going to start flipping out. Throwing temper tantrums. Snapping, cussing. Moving their neck. That's for them doggone loving hip hop women. A.K.A. them. Ghetto hoochie mamas. Excuse my French. Why you stop talking to me? She know what she did, ladies. But she want an explanation. Don't give her nothing. Don't give her nothing. You cut her off. And that's all she wrote. Fellas. You too. Your so-called dude or friend, homie, whatever you want to call him. Your bro start acting funny because he wants you to explain yourself to him. Well, you look like explaining yourself to a grown man. He know what he did. Bro, I wonder why you acting like that, bro. Yo, bro, why you acting like that, man? Don't give him no words. Give him silence. That's all he wrote right there. And when you give people the silence, by silence I mean the silent cutoff game, it's going to drive them berserk. It's going to make people lose their minds. Y'all thought them people in the mental health, um, excuse me, y'all thought them folks in the mental hospital were crazy? Wait till you cut them off for good and you become successful. These people ain't going to need no white jacket. They're going to need a black jacket. Don't the mind the spirit's going to be flashing out of these people. People true colors going to start showing. But remember, the color game is so unpredictable, y'all. They did not see this coming. But you see, they thought you were going to keep on fooling with their nonsense. Keep putting up with their BS. Y'all had had enough. You can't grow if you're still hanging out with the same folks. You can't grow if your friends don't want to go nowhere. Y'all got to cut these people off. Time and time again, you told them. But it's not that they want to listen. You say, all right, that's cool. I'm cutting you off. Because what God about to take me, y'all can't go. This is what y'all was saying. And once you make your dreams become reality, like I said, these people ain't going to need no white jacket. They're going to need a black jacket. Take them to that demonic mental hospital because they finna go crazy. Pray for these folks, y'all. Your success is finna make them go berserk. 
your elevation, your thriving season. It's going to make a lot of people lose their heads. Watch what I tell you. And if you had witnessed this before, then you know what I'm talking about. Some of you have became an experiment to this. You had to cut off people. You're losing friends, family members, good riddance. Good riddance. Tell them, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Remember, y'all, everybody can't go. Especially the ones that like to call you crazy because you got a vision. Well, guess what? That vision is going to become your reality. Everything that God put in your vision is going to become true. And everybody that said you couldn't do it going to be looking stupid in the face. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I can't. They're going to be stuttering. They're going to be doing the Mona Lisa. I can't believe it. They're going to be doing the ball for home alone. Girl. Y'all finna shock the living daylights out of your naysayers. And with that being said, remember, they didn't see this coming. But they about to find out the hard way. And you're going to show them better than what you can tell them. So when they get in their feelings and start crying, they start getting pissed off, let them. Tell them be gone with you. Tell them they don't belong there no more. Let them go bother somebody else. But you, y'all finna start going places, traveling, meeting new folks, shaking the right people's hand. All that stuff is coming up. Watch what I tell you. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this topic in this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and remember if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And by the way, share the video. Share to all who ever need to hear this. Because y'all have cut some people off. Or if you didn't, you about to. And when you do, they're not going to see it coming. Remember, y'all unpredictable. And stay like that. And with that being said, P.O.P., y'all hold it down. And I will see y'all on the next one, man. With that being said, God bless. Y'all be safe out there. And we out here.